Hello everyone, this is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. I'm jumping right into this one today. Thank you for the Litecoin and the Sia coin. You can go to the notes section below for great information. You can see all my crypto addresses and you can learn a lot about what's going on. There'll be important links down there. Remember to subscribe to this channel. So an article on Steemit, a post by Dan the Man, who I believe is one of the guys behind Steemit and Steam, basically talking about how to fix the Steam dollar. Very interesting if they've gotten to this point now. Uh, you can check it out, the link is below. The price of Steam is still down. You can judge it on your own. The Ethereum DevCon is going on right now and the price is up. So the people predicting the price would go up because of the DevCon were correct. Anyway, I have more to say about Ethereum. I was thinking about how the price is going up and how there are two Ethereums. And guess what? I I've been reading some of the Reddits out there and both Ethereums will split again into proof of stake and proof of work. There are going to be four Ethereums eventually. Uh, so prepare now. You can pre prepare now for the day when they split what you're gonna do because the price might even go up in anticipation of these splits because people will want four Ethereums for the price of two. So keep that in mind long term for Ethereum. I know uh, in terms of speculation, that's uh, something to keep in mind because it's gonna happen. I don't know if it'll be next year, the end of next year, the end of this year, whatever. It will, I predict there will be four Ethereums eventually and you'll have the chance to get in and you'll have to, we'll talk about it later, what you should do, but you can kind of determine what you should do based on what happened the last time, how the price of the new one went, woo, really right away. All right, the Bitcoin, there's a guy on my comments who said he owns, uh, he's a Bitcoin fan, and he's thinking about selling his house and uh, cashing it in for Bitcoin. So I, mean, I don't think he's gonna do it fully, and I'm not sure if he's gonna actually do it at all, but, it, it just shows that there are some hardcore cryptocurrency people out there. That, uh, that There's a guy who wants maybe want, want to do it with Bitcoin. And if you look at the previous video I made, there is a hardcore Litecoin guy, Bitcoin Litecoin, who is selling his house and buying Litecoin with the proceeds. So cryptocurrency is hardcore in some people already. And we're early on. So just imagine the stories you're going to hear <laughs> in four years, people selling their children for big... No, I, I, I don't know, but this is just the beginning. All right, Monero and marketing. I got some questions about... People have heard that I think Monero needs to work on their marketing. And if people have been paying attention, I've been talking about this from before the time Dash even went up. Because if you remember, Dash went up, then Monero went up. And this is now in the last month or two months or whatever it is. I, ever since Dash hired Amanda Johnson to market for them, and you know, I, I don't know how the, the specifics of how they designated the money, who gave them the money to pay for her, whatever. They figured out a way, they had a way to create this show, like a Dash show on YouTube. Amanda Johnson's the host. They seem to have a marketing plan. And she was very popular on her daily decrypt show beforehand, so all those people started paying attention to Dash. So I like that kind of main, semi-mainstream type of thing. You take a popular person and you hire them, you pay them. So, I mean, Monero could do something simple like pay Tai Zen to mention them on his show. I'm sure it wouldn't cost them very much. Just, just to get, you know, right now the Monero marketing plan, and I don't mean, I, this is constructive criticism here, but everyone knows that I, I like Monero. I, I think I like anonymous coins. I think there's a future for anonymous coins. But right now, the Monero marketing plan is a bunch of guys on Reddit who jump onto uh, message boards and start, you know, kind of almost cursing people out about how great Monero is and attacking Dash. That I mean, you, you got to get out of the 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 forum mentality and into the marketing mentality, what's appealing to people. Because it's not very appealing, a bunch of guys screaming at other people trying to start an argument. And again, this is constructive criticism. Now, something, when I was making this video, 
uh, thinking about this video, I thought of that Monero could do that would be a huge hit. Now it would be costly, but I mean, maybe a cri some cryptocurrency probably is gonna do this one day. Because again, I said we are in the early stages. Everyone knows the Alex Jones show, okay? I disagree with Alex Jones on many, many, many things. I can't really recommend watching his show. He's been correct on some gun issues and some Hillary Clinton issues, definitely. But who cares about Hillary Clinton? Oh, it's insanity. But Alex Jones has a loyal, loyal following. There's no doubt about that. People believe every word out of his mouth, even when it's contradictory, even when he has contradictory people on who are saying insane things. Um, that a, a thermonuclear war is about to happen the next day, or you know, in a week or so, which people, ha you know, people have said that, basically. In a, you know, we're going to have a thermonuclear war in 2015, and it never happened. Anyway, who was that? Lynn LaRouche or whatever, one of those dudes. Anyway, so I digress. But Alex Jones sells all these supplements, and people just buy it up. Buy up these, they're useless supplements, by the way. To, to keep in shape, you don't need to take supplements, okay? Then these are, supplements are shortcuts. People think are shortcuts. There are no shortcuts, just eat well. Alex Jones, th that people actually believe Alex Jones, who is out of shape, he is out of shape. I think he's a 42 or 43 year old man. He's out of shape. I know he's posed with his shirt off lately or something. The dude's not, he's out, he's, oh, he is overweight. I'm sorry. So, uh, but still, he has all these people buying his supplements. He, may, he does well with that. He gets. All these health things he sells on there, people believe him. So let me tell you, he's spoken about Bitcoin before. I think he's wavered on it, almost said it's like a government intervention. I don't know, but if he, if he, if Monero paid this guy to say, hey, you know what, Bitcoin is bad. Monero is, you know, you could keep your money away from the, uh, the hidden leaders, the elite. They, they won't be able to get your money. I mean, he could come up with something great for Monero that would totally appeal to his audience, okay? And you'd pay him in Monero, he would talk it way up, it would be a big story, and people would want to buy Monero. People would get, I mean, they lit, they worship Alex Jones, for God's sakes. I mean, they believe the silliest things he has to say sometimes that he contradicts even. So, I mean, and, and with the pills, I, I keep going, he's out of shape and people buy his pills. So, again, the, the, the one problem is, is that you have to buy Bitcoin to buy Monero now. So I think it, it, there would be kind of like a, Monero would have to figure out a way for people to get it easier. And Alex Jones would not directly sell Monero to people because I believe that's illegal in the United States. And that's really unfortunate because I, despite what I've said about Alex Jones, I believe he has the right to sell Monero directly to the people for dollars if, if, if it came to that. But anyway, this is a long shot. But maybe this is kind of a prediction too that some cryptocurrency one day is going to pay Alex Jones the money to hype them up, to be a sponsor of the Alex Jones show, and it's going to help that cryptocurrency. But I think Monero is suited perfectly for Alex Jones type people because they they don't trust they don't already they already probably don't trust Bitcoin. They think the government's involved. It's a it's an NSA thing. Monero is private. Monero is anonymous. They like that kind of thing. I'm Adam Meister. That's an interesting rant. Tell me what you think. I'll talk to you later.